Hello, Wachong students. In the last video, you have seen why uh, allocative efficiency requires equating SMB equals SMC for the final unit. So let us examine what happened uh, in this video when we have externalities. Okay, I want to show that once uh, we have externalities, the free market will not necessarily uh, give us an output that uh, resource that uh, leads to society welfare being maximized or that uh, resources are not efficiently allocated when there are externalities. So before we start on the diagrams, it's important, it is important for you to understand some preliminaries. First, okay, we, it is always true that allocative efficiency requires uh, SMB equals to SMC for the final unit. Okay. And note that the social marginal benefit by definition is equal to the private marginal benefit plus the external marginal benefit. And the social marginal cost is equal to the, so the private marginal cost plus the external marginal cost. Okay, So these two, equation 1 and equation 2, are purely a uh, definition. Okay, note that it was Adam Smith right, who postulated the invisible hand that all of us, we are only concerned about maximizing our self-interest. So when it comes to uh, society's welfare, this means that no one actually cares about uh, trying to maximize uh, society's welfare. What we care is to maximize our own welfare. Okay, basically the rule is that we will act as if we are equating PMB equals to PMC for the final unit. Okay, so this is our invisible hand. Okay, that everyone only cares about his own interest, but not society's interest. Once it is true, you can easily see why if let's say we have no externalities, by equating our by maximizing our own self-interest, we are actually equating uh, society's interest. Okay, note that to to see that note that when there's no externalities, EMB is equal to zero, EMC equals to zero. Okay, so we are talking about goods with no externalities here. You can see that since EMP is equal to zero and EMC equals zero, now as a uh, as self interest, if we equate PMB equals PMC for the final unit, we are also actually equating uh, SMB equals SMC for the final unit. Okay, so we are actually led by the invisible hand to uh, maximize uh, society's welfare. So this is the case where uh, we have no externalities. To understand the case of when there are externalities, okay, let us see what will happen when uh, we have a case of negative externality. Okay, I'm going to use the example of smoking here. Okay, so after going through the lectures and paying attention to the tutorials, okay, you should know that this is uh, cost and benefits. Okay, this is the quantity of uh, cigarettes smoke. Okay, so label that correctly. You have learned that there's a, okay, there's a P, PMC, okay, and the SMC. PMB equals to SMB. Okay, so these are the uh, lines that you have drawn in the case of negative externality. Okay, so it's important to note that where is the output now where uh, if, if we were to just care about our self-interest, what, what would be the quantity of cigarette smoke in this uh, society? So in this case, okay, since we are led by the invisible hand, to, uh, we will smoke based on the output. Let me call this a Q, Q star. Q star rep represents the market equilibrium where we equate PMC of the final uh, cigarette to the PMB. Okay, but note that, like I said, right, allocative efficiency requires SMB equals SMC. So this output, let me call it uh, QE. Okay, QE will represent the efficient output, okay, where SMB equals SMC for the final unit. Now let's examine how do we uh, draw the David loss triangle, how do we uh, explain the David loss here. Note that, just like we have seen in the last video, right, if QE represents the efficient output, let's see what happens if we move from QE to Q star. Okay, QE to Q star. Just like what we have seen in the last video, you always take note of the area below the SMC curve and the area below the SMB curve when you move from QE to Q star. So in this case, 
Let me call this A, B, and C. Now, why is it that Q star represents uh, too much, okay, too much consumption of cigarettes? Know that at QE, right, when you move from QE to Q star, okay, what will be the increase in the cost to society? Okay, I hope you can see that the increase in the cost of society, increase in social cost, just like I've said in the last video, is always the area below the SMC curve between the two outputs. Okay, in this case, you can see, right, when you move from QE to Q star, the increase in the cost of society is actually, is actually the, the trapezium A, B, Q star, Q, A. So let me call it A, A, B, Q star, Q, A, E. Okay, or Q, E, sorry. Q, E. So the increase in the cost of society. However, let's also ask, what is the increase in the social benefit? Okay, the increase in the social benefit as you move from QE to Q star. So it's the area below the SMB from QE to Q star, which you can see, right? It's the area A, C, Q star, QE. Okay, know what we are doing here. Okay, why is it that Q star is considered as overconsumption of cigarette? Note that when you move from Q to Q star, the increase in the social benefit eh, is only A, C, Q star, Q, E. But the increase in the social cost is the area A, B, Q star, Q, E. So in this case, the increase in the social cost is greater than the increase in the social benefit. This will lead to a dead weight loss of the triangle A, B, C. Okay, that's how you explain why A, A B, C here is the uh, daily loss triangle from the smoking due to negative externality. Okay, in the same case, let us examine what happens now in the case of uh, positive externality. Okay, mm, for simplicity, let me call it a flu vaccination. Let me use an example of flu vaccination. I hope I spell it correctly. <laughs> okay, something like, like that. Okay, so in the case of flu vaccination, what you have learned is that there is a positive externality. So in this case, you will still put cost, benefits. Okay, so let me call this the, the quantity of, oops, okay, quantity of flu jabs taken by society. Okay, taken. So in this case, okay, when when it's a case of uh, positive externality, this is where the PMC is equals to SMC. So in this case, we have the PMB here, and we have the SMB here. Okay, so to denote that in the case of positive externality, due to the presence of the external marginal benefit, the SMB is higher than the PMB curve. So just like what I said for the for the pre, the previous explanation, okay, as a self-interested individual, we will take the quantity of flu jet where PMC equals to PMB. Okay, so let me this will be the new Q star. Okay, just like before, okay, the allocative efficient output is where SMB is equals to SMC. Call it QE now. Okay, so QE represents the number of flu jabs where the society's welfare is maximized. So in this case now, Q star represents what we call the underconsumption of flu jab relative to QE. Okay, so, uh, so again, to understand where to shade the daily loss, always look out for the area uh, be below the SMC and the SMB between Q star and QE. So in this case, the area below the SMB is clearly given by here. We call it A, B, and C here. Okay, so let us explain why Q star represents an uh, underconsumption of flu jab. No, just like before, right? Q star, when, you, when society moves from Q star to QE, suppose more people would go for flu jab. We want to know again what is the increase in the benefits of society. So, in the case, the increase in social benefit against okay, the area A, B, Q, E, Q star. Okay, which is the area A, B, Q, E, Q star. Likewise, the area below the SMC will tell you the increase in the social cost for moving from Q star to QE. So in this case, increase in social cost is the area C, B, Q, E, Q star. Okay, 
Okay, so now in this case at Q star, right, when we move from Q star to Q E, it's clear that the increase in the benefit to society, which is the A B Q E Q star, is bigger than the increase in the social cost, which is C B Q E Q star. So in this case, the society society's welfare can actually rise by the triangle A B C when you move from Q star to Q E. So this represents why at Q star, okay, we are under consuming flu jet, lead, leading to this David loss triangle. A, B, C. Okay, I hope you understand this. Thank you.